Keeps is a subscription service that helps men keep their hair. There are clinically proven treatments to combat the symptoms of hair loss. Treatments are delivered straight to the customer's door without ever having to visit a doctor's office or go to a pharmacy. And the best part is that the treatment plans are actually affordable, typically half the cost of pharmacy prices. All treatment plans are personalized and doctor recommended. Most Keeps customers notice results within six months of starting treatment. Two out of three guys will experience hair loss by the time they're 35. That's why, in addition to clinically proven treatments, Keeps has an award-winning all-natural thickening shampoo and conditioner system. Keeps has a network of expert medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists to support you in making your hair goals a reality. Whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of your hair, Keeps has you covered. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com slash sidewinder or click the link in the video description. That's keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash sidewinder. Welcome back to another video, guys. We're here in the F-15 Buzz Baz. This mod is not yet public. We're using it a little bit of a sneak peek, if you will. And uh, we're going to be taking on the Eurofighter, who was flown by Galaxy. Big thank you to him for helping with this video. Um, he'll be firing his... Iris T, I believe is a German pronunciation, I-R-I-S-T, or Iris T, however you want to pronounce this missile's name. Um, that's what he'll be firing. That missile does have high off sight capability and does claim, like the Python missiles that I will be firing, that they can loop around and hit targets. So we're going to have some fun here today with these Fox 2s and uh, see what we can do. Right at the merge, we're going to fire. Like right at the moment of the merge, we're going to fire these Fox 2s right here. Here we go, Fox 2. And it doesn't look like his tracked. And Fox 2 here. Now he has a helmet mounted sight, keep that in mind. I don't have that. Look at that Python missile chasing him. There's another one. And he is totally defensive here. I got one more missile. And this looks good. Fox 2. Splash 1 Eurofighter. Yeah, so he just, he was dodging all kinds of missiles from left to right. They were looping all around him. He got a little too defensive and a little bit too much separation and he got killed. Splash one Eurofighter. It's pretty cool, man. Python missiles are pretty cool. <laughs> They're pretty funny the way they loop around. So uh, as I mentioned, this mod, the F-15 mod, is not yet public. It will be coming very soon. Again, I will announce it on the channel when it is public for everybody to download and have some fun with. Um, right now, I just really want to see the capabilities of these Python missiles. And the Eurofighter seems like a good opponent, I think. Um, he does have the advantage in the sense that he has a helmet-mounted queuing system, helmet-mounted sight, that I don't have. I'm stuck with the uh, vertical lock of the F-15. But I do think that the Python can really make up for my disadvantages. Uh, that's the plan anyway, we're going to see. Alright, getting into the merch here. 
Fox 2. And we'll go ahead and try to get that. Oh, that missile's coming. That missile's tracking. That, uh, that last round was quite interesting, in my opinion, because it really gave you a feeling for how quick the merge could be over, you know? Like, from the merge to that missile doing a full loop and hitting me, it was like, what, a couple seconds? That's unbelievable. That's how quickly it's all over. Uh, it's kind of terrifying to think of it like that, you know? From the moment you realize to the mer you're in the merge to being dead a few seconds it's unbelievable the only comfort you have is that it's quick there's not a lot of suffering involved um, into the merch here with the Eurofighter real quick here there we go Fox 2 and I'm gonna use a bit of the vertical this time and Fox 2 he'll narrowly miss that one but that missile's really aiming to get him <laughs> oh my god look at that Python <laughs> Another Fox 2. Oh, he just managed to uh, min range that Python there. You see, that first Python was really determined to get him, though. <laughs> There's another. and Yeah, so his, his, uh, his missile missed there, and there we go, got my lock. Whoa. I think that was his missile that came back around. Fox 2. Splash. Got him right in the face. That missile that exploded above my head, I think that was his missile that did a full loop. It almost hit him. It uh, begs the question how these missiles know how to come back and hit whatever target. It seems like it'd be a really bad thing to fire into a furball um, as it loops back around. It'll pick up just about anything. I would imagine they have to have some sort of data link connection in real life to be able to, you know, determine who they need to hit. I, I'm sure the nature of these missiles is obviously classified. We can't, you know, model how they work. We can just model the behavior of how they work, which is pretty cool. And uh, it's nice to see these Python 5 missiles in DCS because you hear a lot about them and to see what they might be able to do in real life is actually pretty scary. Look at that missile just turn towards him. Oh my god, that missile almost actually seems like it, it might have hit him in the ass. It really looked like it went after him there. Fox 2 again. Oh! Oh, I just got smoked. I don't know if you can see my missile. It just hit him. My missile just hit the Eurofighter in the ass. <laughs> oh my god, these are crazy.
so it kind of seems like that Eurofighter there took his foot off the gas and uh you know that's he didn't realize it was another python coming around doing a full circle and it hit him right in the ass and uh that's what it is man in today's combat environment it almost seems like if you go to the merge even if you kill the other guy you're not fully safe sorry to the test the track ir there everything seems good so yeah just because you kill the other guy doesn't mean you're safe you just you have to almost continue flaring for like at least five or six seconds after you kill him even because like god knows what's in the air coming at you into the merge fox 2 and it looks like his missile didn't track mine's doing a nice loop that almost hit him oh my god man these are so cool <laughs> Uh, that's a missile coming from my face. Alright, and this will be the last round for me, I think. I think these videos, like these, this kind of dogfight video is interesting. Because we talked about it in the last round. But I think it really shows why um, they kind of avoid going to the merge at all costs in today's combat environment. Because just about everybody's missile can do these wild turns. There's the Python, there's the Iris T or Iris T, however you want to say it. There's the uh, AA-11 Archer. It's the same thing. It can do some crazy loops. There's uh, another Fox 2 there. So, like, going to the merge seems like a really bad idea. I I'd much rather stay in BVR, quite honestly. Um, there's a Fox 2 there. That one almost looks like it tracked me, but it didn't. It was min-ranged just slightly. Finally got a lock on this Eurofighter here. And come on, come on, come on. There we go. Fox 2. Narrowly missed. And we have a little bit of lag here. Fox 2. Again, narrowly that missile. Right behind him. It's a shame that the uh, lag here might be... Sorry, that was track IR. I'm having some trouble with my track IR there. Um, I, ha I saw black smoke coming out of the back. He hit me with guns, I think. Yeah, I'm in trouble here. I've lost one engine. I can see black smoke in my mirror. There's a Fox 2! <laughs> okay, good kill, good kill. Alright guys, check this out. This is crazy. I've never seen this before in my life. This is the first time that you're... This might be the first and the last time you see something like this. Um, into the merch here, you see my Python 5, no track, his... Uh, Iris T, Iris T, no track there. Uh, this missile, Python 5. Look at the uh, the G's that are being pulled by this thing. It is quite interesting, actually. Nineteen twenty G's, 21 G's. Look at that. Narrowly misses him there. Comes back around. But watch this. I'm going to show you that thing that I'm talking about that you only see once in a lifetime. Watch this. You see this missile? Watch it. Hold on. I got to take away the, the labels. Hold on. <laughs> you got to see this. <laughs> that round where you guys saw the explosion above my head watch this look at this <laughs> it's his own missile his own <laughs> his own missile comes all the way around <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> Dude, I've never seen that before. Ever. That is amazing. That's so funny. As you can see, the missile doesn't actually hit him. That's why he doesn't, like, die in the round. But the missile does explode closer to him than it does to me. So I would say pretty fair bet that that missile was tracking him. <laughs> Which is hilarious. And that's <laughs> so funny. And then it explodes in the air and close enough to him that the explosion at 376 feet separation from him does cause some damage to his aircraft which is being registered here by TACView. Um, so that is funny dude. That's not something you see every day. And then he dies here to that python. But that is a one in a million. I mean in all the videos I've ever made and all the hours of playing DCS, I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> oh my god. Alright guys, that's going to be the video for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.